All right, guys, welcome back. We are currently here in the Dragster TV headquarters today. Gonna go ahead and take a quick little look at my setup here right now. And I just thought I'd go ahead and talk about it a little bit. You know, it has been upgraded a decent bit since the last time you guys did see it here on the channel. So I just thought I'd go through and talk about it a bit, show you guys what's new with it, and maybe give you guys a couple of uh, ideas that you could do to change up your own setup. Not much has changed, but a couple of minor things have changed, so I just thought I'd go ahead and share it with you guys here today. Um, you know, same chair from Star Space. Still love this thing, works great. Fits all my needs for sure. One of my favorite upgrades I did do was upgrading to this type of cover, pop filter, rather than that one seen right over there. Definitely up the quality of my overall sound. Now next, and this was my most recent update I've done to the setup here, is a desk pad slash mouse pad here. As you guys can see, it's a little bit longer than just a normal mouse pad that's just for the mouse. Honestly, I think it cleans up the setup a lot. And honestly, I think it's a lot more comfortable when moving around the mouse to have just a little bit more room than your average mouse pad. Now the biggest change I did do to my setup that really did change it up a lot is a HDMI to DisplayPort cord. Now the graphics card I do have in my PC here is a GTX 1660 Super. So it only has one HDMI port on the back and one DisplayPort on the back. I've had this monitor here to go to my Xbox for the longest time so I can have my Xbox screen right here and then my PC screen right there. But as of December 25th, aka Christmas, I got a TV. I know it's a smart TV, it's a Roku, it's a Hisense 43 inch TV here, fits on my dresser all right. But I prefer using a controller to type out my videos when watching YouTube on it, as well as I just prefer playing games on a TV rather than a small monitor. So I now have my Xbox hooked up to the TV, but with a simple switch of one cord, wherever my, wherever my capture card is here, if I switch the cords, in about five seconds, I can switch from my Xbox displaying on my TV to my monitor here. So it's a pretty quick and easy switch. This monitor is pretty much just sitting here and not being used for the longest time. And I didn't really use my Xbox much. And also I have been doing a lot more live streams lately. So it's a lot easier with a second monitor to uh, be able to monitor your stream. Like have the chat there, look at your likes and whatnot, stuff like that. Rather than just having my phone set up somewhere around that, stood up on my monitor. It's better just to have a second monitor doing it all for you. I was gonna get a little adapter, but then I found out it'd just be easier just to get a straight up six foot long HDMI to display port cord. So it's completely plug and play. And so yeah, now I have two monitors going to my PC. So that's really it for the setup update. However, I do have one more thing to go ahead and share with you guys. However, you know, it's pretty generic. A lot of people have them. It pretty much all it is is just LEDs goes all the way around my room or just about except for like that patch there and I believe this patch here because uh, I got about four rolls or three rolls of 32 feet so I had to make what I had work but my blinds are open right now so I'm gonna go ahead and shut those and there we are so now with one singular remote I'm gonna go ahead and turn my LEDs here there we are and if I go over here I can turn the LEDs over here and there we are. So in my opinion, really cleans up the setup. I believe if you do have a pretty nice game setup in your room or at least TV or something, it really just makes a pretty cool vibe for your room if you do put up LEDs and they're actually not too expensive. But something I did just notice is I did forget my first ever LEDs I did put up and I can turn them on with the same remote and they are on white right now. So now they're on blue. Still not 100% sure what color I'm running on these LEDs. But I'm trying to match them on those. Anyways, guys, that is it for today's video. That is it for all the upgrades I've done to the setup. Just thought I'd keep you guys updated and let you guys know what I've been up to and what I've been doing with the setup. Once again, going over, got the desk pad, got the uh, display port to HDMI cord, got a new TV, got some LEDs, got a new pop filter for my microphone. So really not much, but then again, it really did upgrade the setup a lot. And guys, always remember, you do not have to do a lot to your gaming setup to make it look cool. But anyways, guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you guys did enjoy this video, as well as subscribe and turn on those post notifications to never miss a new daily video from me. And with that, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure I have an amazing rest, guys, day or night. And with that, I'll catch you guys very, very soon in the next one.